Trello, as we can see, we have my Dynamics 365 instance. We have my QuickBooks instance. So let's go ahead and open up a Dynamics invoice. And I know I mentioned we work with CRM 2011 and later. Uh, we work with QuickBooks 2008 and later, and that's also desktop and online for both of these uh, platforms. Perfect. So we can see the customer test me account. We can see the test product. So if we go ahead and open up our QuickBooks, let's see if we can find that customer. Surprise, there's no customer in there. Oh no, what are we going to do? So from here, I'm going to go ahead and open up DB Sync. So this is our web connector. And I saw someone asking about whether or not we support international versions of QuickBooks. We absolutely do. Perfect. So here's our web connector. This is what the platform looks like. And as you can see, this one has multiple, but you guys will not have multiple instances. You will just have one. Uh, this only has uh, multiple because we run multiple uh, demo instances off of this particular server. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Dynamics 365. And if you scroll down, when you get DB Sync, what you have to do is you have to decide what's going to be your master list and what's going to be pushing data in what direction. It's fully customizable, so you can choose your workflow. Uh, typically, people like to choose QuickBooks as the master. Uh, as that's where you're going to lock in all your accounting data. So when we're pushing invoices from Dynamics to QuickBooks, we have this generate object field. And you just select invoice and you save it. And that's going to tell it to trigger this invoice to sync whenever we sync. So let's go ahead and hop in. And it's as simple as making sure the box is checked and then hitting update selected. And that's for manual batches. But as you can see, we have this awesome auto run feature over here. So if you select that box, you can choose it to run in intervals as low as every five to 10 minutes. So if you want that near real time sync, we can absolutely do that for you. And again, I'm showing the data flowing from uh, CRM into QuickBooks. But it's absolutely possible to have the data automatically flow from QuickBooks into CRM. So as you can see, the, uh, the customer is being created. We'll go ahead and we'll look at the total progress uh, here. We'll dive in and take a look at that invoice, make sure that was created. So it's going to always give you that progress. And if there's ever an issue, it'll go ahead and let you know. And it logs it all as well. So it's very easy to keep track of anything that didn't sync, but that's a rare occurrence. And as I mentioned, it is a bi-directional sync, and you can choose what data flows in what direction. So say you had orders and you wanted to push those into QuickBooks, turn those into invoices and push them back. That's a common process that we do. Perfect, so we can see the invoice here. Let's go ahead and open it up. Great, so we have the account created with the account information. We have the invoice created and we have the product created. So all that data gets transferred over and you're able to use it in QuickBooks now without having to type it out. And what's great too is if you go back to the actual invoice and you refresh the page, you're going to be able to see down here, there's an invoice updated notification and there's also a unique QuickBooks ID. And again, as I mentioned, if you have other fields that you'd want integrated beyond the scope of the standard connector, that's very easy for us to do. We just do a meeting with our business analyst. We go ahead and assess your needs and we can work up a quote for that. 